Hey there, how's it going? I'm Sean, and this is my guide on power leveling from level 25 to 40 in New World. If you have not yet watched my previous leveling guide, I recommend you check it out since it will continue off of that video. This guide is dedicated to experienced players who want to grind out further levels and do later dungeons. The comment of the day for this video is from March FU. I'm glad you found the water tip useful for money making since it's a very weird but profitable strategy. If you would like to be comment of the day next, leave a comment and I'll pick one random person for the next video. Now to get started. Since we are continuing off of the previous guide, this is off of the assumption you have hit level 25 and are comfortable running Amrine Excavation. This guide will not focus on any of the skills in the game, and solely level. I highly recommend in between sessions you do a small amount of gathering, as hitting certain milestones and skills will grant you better town board missions. To start off level 25, run Amrine with the Barkamedes quest, and get some gold saved up since you will need it for later purchases. Go get your level 25 gear doing PvP missions, and buy the gear you are missing for upgrades. While running Amrine, get the class specific drop you are looking for. When I run Amrine, I personally look for Darkness Defined and Simon's Hack Silver Ring since it is great early game equipment for tanks. After you have run Amrine and received your faction gear, do town boards and further excavations. This should put you at level 28. Note. This is not a fast process as level progression slows down exponentially around these levels. Level 28. Now that you are level 28, go do your main quests. These quests will take you through Everfall and Brightwood, where you will kill Corrupted Covenant and make a call for help to other factions. This set will take you through level 29 to 30, where you can complete more town board quests to make up for the level cap you will be given to do the next set of storyline quests. You will be hard capped at level 30 until you can complete the story further. From this point on, it will be a little murky due to there not being enough information on the main storyline. The main storyline does have level caps at level 35 and 40, so I will be basing further information on those caps and personal experience. This information is why a lot of guides have town board missions since it is the absolute best way to level. Now continuing to level 30. Start off level 30 by completing around 5 to 7 main storyline quests. This will give you approximately one level, which you can further increase to level 35 cap for main story or until you are not comfortable with running through Weaver's Fen and Brightwood. I would highly recommend you do not go through Weaver's Fen below level 35 without a group. Weaver's Fen is very dangerous and you can easily get killed, resetting your progress by 30 minutes or more at some points. Now that you are level 31, we can start discussing town board hopping. Town board hopping is a strategy where you take similar traits from each town board, like crude iron kits or materials and transferring materials between towns. Example, if you have 300 iron in Windsward, but you need 300 iron for Cutlass Keys, you can transfer it between lockers at a gold cost. If you cannot afford the gold transfer in the town locker, take what missions you can and fast travel with Azoth. To save on Azoth travel costs, bounce between two territories your faction owns to do the mission quicker. You can also buy the materials off of the trading post if available. This strategy will take time depending on your RNG with the trading post and one of the hardest pivotal points in leveling mid-game. After hopping and doing town boards for a while, you should be level 33. Level 33. Now that you are level 33, go get your Starstone Barrows key to relax and do a few runs. The quest line is unlocked after you complete the first batch of quests in the Everfall Village, which you should already have done. You'll then unlock the NPC on the second floor of the inn, complete his quest line, and he will send you back into the Amrine Excavation, and then finally give you the Tuning Ward for Starstone. Before you enter the excavation, grab the Rare Bone quest from Barkamedes and enter the dungeon. The dungeon can be glitchy, so pay attention to the laser beams and traps. Your team should consist of three or two DPS, two or one healer, and one tank. Assuming your team has all of their orbs and you complete five runs, this should put you close to level 35. Once you have completed more town boards and hit 35, you can finally continue with the main quest line. Note, if you are not capped on reputation for your faction yet, go do PvP missions to get level cap to start your Ravager promotion. This is important for level 35 and above. Level 35. Congrats! You made it past the hard part. Now that you can wield your Starstone Barrows equipment and continue with the main storyline, go with a group of two or more players and continue doing the main storyline through Weaver's Fen. You will be killing bears at the start of the story for Quintessence, a highly valued moat which has extreme value late game. Once you have completed a few storyline missions and make your way to the town, go do your Ravager promotion. Talk to your faction's representative to receive the quest which will be able to kill 10 mobs in a specific area 3 or more times. This is where your group will be the most important. When you promote, go with your group to complete PvP missions to get the next tier of gear, as well as town board missions once you hit your level cap on questing. Do this until you hit level 40. There will be lots of empty space between these 5 levels, so make sure you run Amarine, Starstone Barrows, Deadman's Cove, Town Boards, 
and now Azoth Tree, which was newly added to the game, found in Brightwood, along with Stone Skull Fort, found southeast of Cutlass Keys. Level 40. Finally got through. Well, the storyline isn't over yet. You have two to four main storyline quests before you go to the depths. The last quest in the storyline where you can go into the cavern where a certain captain stands. And no, it isn't Captain Hamadou. Thank you all for watching. If you would like more information, please visit our wiki page for additional information relating to in-game drops, weapon mastery traits, and more. Discord will also be in the description. And if you like the video, please subscribe for more content in the future. Thanks and have a wonderful day. See ya! You made it to the end of the video, huh? You didn't give up. If you type 1, I'll shout you out next video. Keep it a secret though.